Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about the yearly events that occur in Luxembourg. So let's get started. Luxembourg and mostly Luxembourg City, they are known from yearly events that are huge. Everybody are going for them and if you're going to live in Luxembourg or you already live in Luxembourg, you will hear about them weeks, weeks, weeks before and all your friends will ask you to come with you because they are the biggest event that will happen here in Luxembourg. So actually I was thinking if I should do it chronologically how they happen in the calendar or how big or how fun they were for me. I decided the second one so we will start with the first one that recently happened on 23rd of June which is Duke's birthday and this is the biggest celebration this city have ever seen. There are stages all over the city with different concerts. There is huge fireworks at I think 10 p.m. 10 or 11 p.m. Then there is a big parade before the fireworks. You can see the Duke himself with his wife, all the important people around him. You can go around the city. I mean, go around the city is difficult to say because the city is so crowded. So even like all the buses are shutting down. People who live outside of the city center cannot get to the city center. People who are already in the city center, they cannot move around. But it's amazing celebration that lasts for the whole night. And I would say this is the longest night I've seen in Luxembourg in a way of like how long people stay on the streets, how long people party. And also super nice thing is that everything is happening outside. So the concerts are outside. The bars are putting stuff outside. So you are not hanging out inside. I would say you go inside to go to the bathroom. That's all. And all the other stuff you do outside. So the bars are putting the tables outside. They sell drinks, they sell food, and you can just have blast for the whole night. You will meet tons of people that you know. You will meet people who never go out because this is the biggest celebration. But I would say if you're not a fan of partying, you will be a fan of the parade or amazing fireworks that were 15 minutes. And I would say these were the best fireworks I've seen in my life. So yeah, so this is the celebration, quite impressive. And in my opinion, this is the favorite one that I have. Another big celebration starts always on 23rd of August and lasts for two, three weeks. And this is a thing that actually happened when I came to Luxembourg. And that was like, for me, super bright, super nice, warming welcome for me. And it's called Schuberfeuer. And this is like a thing that they built in one of the places in the city center, like close to the city center, on one of the parking spots. They built like a huge amusement park and next to it they have a part with food. It's an amazing place to go if you arrive to Luxembourg around September and many people do. So it's an amazing place to go with your friends to hang out. You can eat cheaper food actually. I remember that I was eating there like 10 euro burger and I was like, okay, Luxembourg is not that expensive. And then I went to the restaurant and I saw 20 euro burger. And then I was like, okay, Luxembourg might be actually expensive. However, this is a thing where everybody will hang out for these two, three weeks. If you're new and you are here for a traineeship or starting a new job, probably that's where your new friends will meet. That's where we spend all the time. Everybody want to go to every single amusement park, roller coaster or any other type of machine that is throwing people up or like carousel or something like this there's tons of stuff it's amazing it's in a city center and as i said right next to it you have a food part that is quite nice as well so this is my second favorite thing and you will see people from all the ages including kids teenagers my age older than me so yeah you will find there everybody next celebration that it's quite interesting is museum days so many cities do night's museums i think here there's also a night's museums but they also do museum days where all the mu not all but many museums are for free and that's actually your chance to go to the museums that you are not super convinced about for example that was for me Modam, which is like a modern art museum and i'm very happy that i didn't pay for it because it's not my type of the of the things to see in museums it was quite interesting but i would say i would never pay money for it and yeah this is a super nice thing my other friends went to another museum that close to hamilius i don't remember the name but they said that they were or that they were quite impressed. I also know that there are a few other museums, so I would say during the years that I'm going to be here, I'm going to visit them on the museum days. Uh, this is an amazing thing to do if you enjoy cultures and museums. Even if you don't, it's a nice place to hang out with your friends. This is something different. And yeah, and it happened this year, I, if I remember correctly, like in April, May. So quite nice. It's already not cold. It's still not super hot. So, so yeah. One of the things that I'm super excited about to do is a summer wine festival. I still haven't done it, but apparently it starts in June, May, and then another one is in September. You can go all around Luxembourg. Wine in Luxembourg is actually quite famous, like here, not out of Luxembourg. I don't know how good of a quality it is because I'm not the best with the wine. But if you enjoy this type of events, if you're Italian, you like Sagra, or if you just like to go for wine tasting or to the wineries, this is going to be for you because they celebrate it. They do huge celebrations. People meet different ages and they enjoy food and wine. 
and in my opinion is one of the things that you can enjoy I will enjoy for sure and I will do it for sure in September another thing that is upcoming and I am super excited about is Echternach or Echternach I never know how to pronounce the names of the cities in Luxembourg International Festival and this is basically jazz and classical music festival that happens in September and October if I remember correctly it's for free so you just have to get there enjoy the festival there is for sure some food and yeah enjoy some good music maybe you are not the fan of jazz or fan of classical music but it might be nice for you to check it out because you never know and yeah i think it's gonna be exciting another super exciting thing in luxembourg is as they call luxembourg light festival which is basically christmas markets and you will see them all over the city just in luxembourg city you have five christmas markets and they last forever they start like at the beginning of half november and they end in january so it's quite impressive. It's again the spot where you will hang out with your friends during December. This is a place where everybody's gonna be like on Saturday or Sunday afternoon, they're gonna be like, oh, should we go to the Christmas market? Should we eat dinner on the Christmas market or grab a lunch? You will see, this is the best. You will have a lot of places to eat, to drink some hot wine, blue wine, however you call it in Poland, we call it whole wine. And you will have a hot chocolate, you will have different uh, cuisine, mostly from Germany. And also you will have some type of games for kids or like amusement park stuff for kids, which is also quite nice. So adults can go as well. But yeah, this is the hanging out spot for everybody and everybody wanna go to each of them. So if you look at the amount of weekends you have and you wanna go only on the weekends, in the end you do once a weekend so yeah so it's quite impressive it's quite nice and this is for me not the favorite one just because i had christmas markets all my life back in my city back in poland and this is actually one of the best ones in uh, poland apparently so i'm not that excited about christmas markets and it's cold but i know people who love it even from the countries that they have christmas markets so yeah this is the thing that you will be forced even if you don't want to go there you will go there because that's where your friends will hang out that's what happened to me and trust me you will not regret it so now we can pass to the things that may not be that interested for me at least from the name if they happen i may go in a way if my friends go i will go i will not push to go there even if i'm pretty sure that if i stay for years here i will end up in this yearly events however they might be super interesting for you so let's start with number one that it's vianden medieval festival and it normally happens in the last week of july to first week of august and I can tell you about Vianden, that this is one of the most beautiful cities I've seen in Luxembourg. So if you have a chance to go to Vianden, there is a huge castle, and I assume the medieval festival is because of the castle over there, because the castle is medieval. So if you happen to go there, there is a castle, a little hike, city itself is super nice as well. So if you don't go for the medieval festival, because you're not super fun like me, you can go there just to see the city, because it's a super nice city. But yeah, this is a thing that you can do as well at the end of July, beginning of August. Now we will talk about one thing that is like a sweet that they eat, between the candle mass and ash wednesday so basically february season and this is like kind of luxembourg carnival and they eat the sweet that it's called fuesent i don't even know how to pronounce it but apparently this is like a big thing for carnival you will see a lot of people in a dressed up with carnival and yeah a lot of kids enjoying it so this is another thing that you can do in a february season in luxembourg another thing that i was laughing about so much when it happened and it was in march it's a brezel zondag which is basically sunday with pretzels and they will give away the pretzels for free you will have a huge celebration about the pretzels so many places will sell the pretzels and yeah this is a thing that was like the funniest thing because i thought it was something like you know just happened once and i don't know because of some sales or something apparently it happens every year so this is the day where you can eat them amazing pretzels maybe for free enjoy it on the streets uh, with your friends and uh, maybe get to know someone new one of the things when i got into when i was searching stuff for this video was the thing that we do actually in poland which is like a goodbye to winter and hello to spring and what we do in poland we do exactly like exactly very similar thing to what they do here in luxembourg here in luxembourg it's called let me just look down because i don't remember the name Buberg Brennen. This is the name of the event and this is basically like a huge bonfire that they do and it happens the weekend after the carnival. What we do in Poland, we have like a huge doll, like I can call it a doll, like a human-sized doll made for this specific event in the clothing and stuff like this, which we call Majanna and we actually put it into the water. So not exactly the same thing, but it's the same concept. Like you say goodbye to the winter and say hello to spring. So when I saw this bonfire thing, it was very nice to see that it's very similar to my culture back in Poland. I remember we were doing it every single year from the kindergarten at school and like, you know, always in the news, it comes up as well. So here in Luxembourg, it's bonfire. In Poland, we have a huge doll that we put into the water. And last but not least, the festival that happens in July, I put it as the last thing because I haven't been there. I don't know how it could be. The festival is called Rock um Knuedler. 
Non Ro Conclu at the festival? I assume, I don't know. Sorry, I was reading, but basically it's a music festival that happens in Luxembourg. All over the city you have different types of music in different locations, and it happens in July, and I'm pretty sure that for everyone who likes music, it will be enjoyable. So yeah, that would be it for today. I'm happy that I could share with you some yearly events with Luxembourg. There are a few more, but these ones I would say they are the main ones. So yeah, trust me, the first few that I mentioned you have to have to do. I mean, you will not miss them if you're in Luxembourg. And yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you would leave a comment down below telling me what is your favorite part and hit the like button because it helps me a lot sell this video and reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Luxembourg, living abroad, studying abroad and traveling. So if you enjoy this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And here I leave you the video about 15 random facts about Luxembourg and the Luxembourgish playlist. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.